A union built on trust, not kisses, introducing the union. The Union on Netflix is not your typical action romance. It's a film that challenges the norms of the genre, offering a fresh perspective on relationships and teamwork. Starring Mark Wahlberg as Mike and Halle Berry as Roxanne, this gripping film thrusts us into a world of espionage and high-stakes missions. The chemistry between the leads is palpable, yet it's not driven by the usual romantic clichés. Mike, a seasoned field agent, finds himself paired with Roxanne, a brilliant but untested analyst. Their dynamic is intriguing as they navigate the complexities of their mission and their evolving partnership. Their mission to prevent a devastating global attack. The stakes couldn't be higher and the pressure is immense. Every decision they make could mean the difference between success and catastrophic failure. As they race against time, a deep bond forms between them, built on mutual respect and trust. Their relationship is a testament to the power of collaboration and understanding rather than romantic entanglement. But in a surprising twist, this connection never culminates in a kiss. This choice is both bold and refreshing, steering clear of the predictable path. This deliberate choice by director Julian Farino has sparked curiosity and debate among viewers. It's a move that invites audiences to look deeper into the character's connection. The absence of a kiss between Mike and Roxanne is not an oversight. It's a conscious decision to focus on the emotional and intellectual bond they share. It is a deliberate storytelling device, carefully crafted to enhance the narrative's depth and complexity. This approach allows the film to explore themes of trust and respect in a more nuanced way. In a genre saturated with predictable romantic tropes, the union dares to subvert expectations. It challenges the audience to rethink what makes a relationship compelling and meaningful. The result is a refreshing and thought-provoking exploration of connection, trust, and the power of unspoken emotions. The union stands out as a film that values the depth of human connection over superficial romantic gestures making it a must-watch for those seeking something different in the action romance genre. The Art of Restraint. Why No Kiss Was the Right Call. Director Julian Farino's decision to omit a kiss between Mike and Roxanne was a calculated risk, a bold move that defied conventional storytelling norms, but one that ultimately paid off, garnering critical acclaim and audience appreciation. In a film landscape often reliant on physical intimacy to convey attraction, the Union takes a different route, choosing to explore the depths of emotional connection. By denying the audience the satisfaction of a conventional romantic resolution, Farino elevates the narrative to a more sophisticated level. He forces us to confront the complexities of human connection, where trust and respect can be just as potent, if not more so, than a fleeting kiss. This decision challenges the audience to look beyond the surface. The absence of a kiss allows the audience to fully invest in the emotional core of Mike and Roxanne's relationship, making their bond feel more authentic and profound. We witness the gradual building of trust and mutual respect as they navigate dangerous situations together, their partnership growing stronger with each challenge they face. Their connection is forged in the crucible of shared danger and professional dependence, creating a bond that feels both realistic and deeply moving. This unconventional approach to romance, devoid of physical intimacy, creates a palpable tension and longing that resonates deeply with the audience. It invites viewers to engage with the characters on a more intimate level, understanding their emotions and motivations. Farino's choice to focus on emotional depth rather than physical expression sets the union apart, making it a standout in modern cinema. It's a testament to the power of storytelling that prioritizes substance over spectacle. In the end, the decision to forego a kiss was not just a stylistic choice, but a narrative one that enriched the film's emotional landscape, leaving a lasting impact on its audience. Voices from the Union director and stars speak out. At the film's premiere, director Julian Farino addressed the elephant in the room head on. We wanted to explore a different kind of chemistry, he explained. One that wasn't reliant on physical intimacy, but on something deeper, more profound. 
This sentiment was echoed by Halle Berry, who stated, Roxanne is not defined by her relationships with men. Her connection with Mike is about partnership, respect and shared purpose. Mark Wahlberg added, The tension between Mike and Roxanne is undeniable, but it's not about romantic love in the traditional sense. It's about two people recognizing and appreciating each other's strengths in the face of extraordinary circumstances. These insights from the film's creators and stars shed light on the deliberate artistic choice to forgo the expected kiss. They emphasize the film's commitment to exploring a more nuanced and realistic portrayal of human connection. A trilogy in the making, the bigger picture unfolds. The decision to omit a kiss between Mike and Roxanne takes on even greater significance when considering the film's future. The union is envisioned as the first instalment in a planned trilogy. This revelation opens up a world of possibilities for Mike and Roxanne's relationship to develop organically over time. The absence of a premature kiss in the first film allows for a more authentic and gradual exploration of their connection. The trilogy format provides ample opportunity to delve deeper into the complexities of their bond. Will romantic feelings eventually emerge? Or will their connection remain firmly rooted in mutual respect and professional admiration? The deliberate restraint exercised in the union sets the stage for a captivating slow burn, leaving audiences eagerly anticipating the next chapter in Mike and Roxanne's story. From script to screen, location, location, location. The union transports viewers across continents from the bustling streets of Marrakesh to the sleek modernity of Tokyo. The film's commitment to shooting on location adds a layer of authenticity and visual richness to the narrative. Each locale becomes an integral part of the story, reflecting the global stakes of Mike and Roxanne's mission. The decision to film in these diverse and vibrant locations enhances the audience's immersion in the world of espionage and international intrigue. We feel the pulse of each city, the energy of its inhabitants, this immersive quality is further heightened by the palpable chemistry between Wahlberg and Berry. Their performances, grounded in mutual respect and unspoken understanding, resonate all the more powerfully against the backdrop of these real-world locations. When less is more echoes of the Union in cinema. The Union is not alone in its decision to subvert romantic expectations. Several films have successfully employed a similar approach, proving that sometimes less is more. In the classic Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman's characters share a palpable connection, but never a kiss, leaving audiences to ponder the unspoken depths of their feelings. Similarly, the critically acclaimed Brokeback Mountain depicted a love story constrained by societal pressures, where a single charged kiss spoke volumes about the character's unspoken desires. These films, like The Union, demonstrate the power of restraint in storytelling. By denying the audience the easy gratification of a conventional romance, they create a space for longing, ambiguity, and ultimately, a more profound emotional impact. A future full of promise, Mike and Roxanne's unwritten story. A tale that has yet to be fully told, brimming with potential and endless possibilities. As the credits roll on the union, we are left with a sense of tantalizing possibility, a feeling that there is so much more to come. We are left to ponder what the future holds for these two characters. The film's deliberate ambiguity regarding Mike and Roxanne's future leaves the door open for a myriad of potential outcomes. It invites us to imagine the paths they might take, the choices they might make. Will they find themselves at a crossroads, choosing between personal desires and professional obligations? Will their professional partnership evolve into something more? Could their shared goals and dreams lead to a deeper connection? Or will they remain bound by mutual respect and a shared sense of purpose, their relationship defined by their work and common vision? The beauty of the union lies in its refusal to provide easy answers. It challenges us to think beyond the obvious, to delve into the complexities of human relationships. It challenges us to confront our own expectations of romance and to appreciate the complexities of human connection in all its forms. It asks us to look deeper, to see the layers beneath the surface. 
Whether Mike and Roxanne ultimately share a kiss in the sequels is almost beside the point. What matters is the journey they embark on together. The moments of tension, the unspoken words, the glances that speak volumes. These are the elements that make their story so compelling. The journey is what captivates us. The slow burn of their connection, the way their relationship evolves over time. What matters is the journey, the experiences they share, the challenges they face together. The slow burn of their connection, the way they grow and change together. The unspoken emotions that simmer beneath the surface. And the unspoken emotions that simmer beneath the surface. These are the moments that define their story. The future of the Union is unwritten, and that is precisely what makes it so captivating. It is a story that invites us to dream, to imagine, to hope, 